So the future of many African countries is, yes, of increased urbanization, albeit urban areas of relatively low density, unless something is done soon, and the prospect, at least in some countries, of significant unemployment. What does it mean for democracy? It's a challenge. Uh, on the one hand, there are a few things more difficult than democratizing in a rural country. If democracy is about the people participating and the state and the people have some kind of connection, it's really hard to reach out to a population that's atomistically dispersed over a vast landscape. Having a higher percentage of people in relatively small areas makes democracy more plausible, which is why I think you've seen small countries with uh, small population countries be more democratic in a country like Namibia, which is vast, but where all the people are essentially in two places, also be relatively democratic. Uh, so I think on the one hand, prospects for democracy are greater because the people can actually participate and are closer to the state physically and emotionally than before. On the other hand, if there are a very large number of people who are disappointed uh, with their job prospects, uh, that is almost always some kind of instigator for political instability, which may make the creation and duration of any institution very hard indeed. Finally, I think we can't ignore the intellectual debates that are occurring amongst the Africans themselves. Uh, Africa's role in the international community is really important. I agree that most African countries will have greater portfolios of international partners than before. But the real result of 50 years of independence is that we're now seeing, sometimes explicitly, sometimes not, a debate on African terms about the value of democracy. And right now, I must tell you that I think uh, uh, the Kagamis of the world, few but influential, are winning. Um, that is a debate which maybe outsiders can influence. I tend to believe this will be settled within each country on their own terms. But I think we overestimate uh, outsiders' ability to affect this intellectual debate and underestimate just how profound it is. If for Rwanda, if Ethiopia, which continues to churn, as was said, at a very high growth rate with very impressive social welfare statistics, uh, if they truly break out as uh, economic paragons or well, with kinds of authoritarian models and very problematic, in some cases, human rights records, that may be the ultimate challenge uh, to democracy in Africa, at least in the short to medium term. The debate, of course, will be settled by the Africans themselves. Thanks so much. Uh, delighted to be here and uh, happy to answer questions or hear your comments. Thanks again.